Murray State's Paducah Regional Campus Grand Opening was just in time for the start of the spring semester. The Crisp Center is a 43,000 square foot building housing 19 state-of-the-art classrooms and is home to over 20 bachelor's and master's degree programs. But don't only take our word for it, see for yourself. Extremely excited at Murray State University to have this opportunity to uh, grow and expand our offerings here in Paducah and the region. And uh, been a lot of work to get to this day, but it's a, it's a great day for all of us. So with that, let's take a look at the building. Uh, one of the things the old regional campus here in Paducah lacked was a place for our students to get together at the same time. So if we had a reception or anything else for our students, we really didn't have any rooms that could hold much more than 30 people. So this auditorium will hold special events and hold functions that we'll do for a lot of our students here at the uh, Paducah Regional Campus at one time. So we're extremely excited. There are several uh, spaces like this at Murray. And uh, this, once again, will just expand our opportunities to do special, special type of projects and offerings. A lot of our students may have a 15 or 16 hour day every single day between their work and their classes and those different type of things. So we felt it very important to have a place that's comfortable and convenient for them. Um, Pepsi Cola Mid America is one of the major sponsors of this building. It's named the Crisp Center, and we're very thankful for Pepsi and their contributions to this building and making a lot of this available to us. So, this is what we're calling just a student activity area. It'll be for the students. So the students that are out there walking with us, step in the room if you would please. These are some of our existing students over at the old campus, and they're the ones you ought to ask about how excited they are about this building because. I can promise they're all elated today getting to see the new facility. Having said that, they all are KEASP members, is that correct? Which is our Kentucky student organization that works with teachers. And, uh, and you see many of their many awards behind us right here. But this room's gonna be used for when their groups and those kind of individuals wanna meet collectively. It will also be used as an overflow classroom for us. So once again, we've done our best at this building not to not to uh, plan for just one thing, to, but to make it very diverse in nature. Our students really didn't have a place to meet at the old building, did you? You met on a little round table, it was for three and 12 people would scoot around it or something like that, or an old dirty couch somewhere. We didn't really have a spot for that, but as you've walked through the building, you can see a lot of spots. But this will be a room in which it'll be for the students and used primarily by the students. Now, a lot of students will be here at the Paducah campus virtually. And this is the virtual representation. This is what you call interactive television classroom. We have five of these classrooms in this building and it's very economical for a university to offer classes this way because we can have people in two, three, four, five, really even seven, eight, nine, ten locations and, and where they can see each other and talk to each other, hear each other, and not be, not be in the same city or even the same state. We've had instructors teach from Japan back to Murray using this technology. And it makes it very feasible for a class to be held with three or four people here, two or three in Madisonville, two or three in Henderson or Hopkinsville all together, and all of a sudden you've got a sizable class. You'll notice it's just a traditional classroom right now because that's what our needs are as of today. But built into this room, under these tiles, is roughed in all of the plumbing and the piping that they need to do a biology lab, a chemistry lab, a physical sciences lab, or most anything that we would need for any of those type of degrees at Murray State. The reason it's not finished today is because we don't know what the needs of the future are going to be. But we've got it roughed in, that will save money when we do know what the next degree programs that we'll need to answer the economic needs of this region and city and state will be.